Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Southern Tea Room. It's your girl, Lady J, back bringing you the latest if you know about tea and urban news. But before I get into it, let's go ahead and hit that thumbs up, comment down below, and share. And since you already here, subscribe to my channel. We got some things to get into today, child, because Twitter has been messy all day. So first, let's start off with some older news. So Nicki Minaj released her Super Freaky Girl Roman remix earlier this week, and it had Twitter and certain rap girls in shambles, child. So it is being alleged that Nicki did shade Megan Thee Stallion in her third verse in the Super Freaky Girl remix. So Nicki said this, don't nobody want to hear that weak shit ho in the game 15 ain't peak yet ho tell that goofy get a chair she was cocky i could swear to my old tape sold more than your album drop a tear okay so did she speak all facts and no copy okay let me know now it is being speculated on twitter that nikki is responding to megan's shot that um that she threw in her song gift and a curse which of course is on her new album trauma zine so the line that megan said was Drop the bag on my purse, purse, purse. That El Chapo, this, that work, work, work. Fix your face, bitch. You hurt, hurt, hurt. All that talking ain't making me nervous. Feeling yourself put down in perks. Ah. You know how she do that. Ah. Now, fans are saying this is about Nikki because it's no secret. Nikki has opened up about using pills at one point in time at a very low point in her life, as she has alluded to in her song, Pills and Potions. And on top of that, when Megan said, you know, feeling yourself put down in perks, that was supposed to be a reference to Nicki Minaj's song she did with Beyonce, Feeling Myself. And in that song, Nicki said, and I quote, dripping on that work, tripping off that perk. Okay, so I definitely feel this was a shot at Nicki Minaj, hands down. And of course, you know, words obviously got back to Nicki and she dropped, you know, the Super Freaky Girl remix. Okay, the Roman remix and had to, you know, let the self-proclaimed so-called it girl know that you ain't too popping if your twelve, if my 12-year-old mixtape is selling more than your last two projects, baby. So, let's just say the stallion has been pretty silent, okay? So, Megan had at most 72 hours to respond because her album did only do 66k first week and Beat Me Up Scotty did over 80k first week and it's 12 years old and Megan ain't said shit about this. So, Megan's hotties are claiming that Megan was talking about Carl Crawford of 1501 when she was talking about putting on in perks, but clearly it's about Nikki because that feeling myself line and the perks line was too specific. If you know rap, you know it's a play on words and a reference because it's no coincidence that Nicki Minaj has a song called Feeling Myself and in that song she mentioned you know tripping off a perk and on top of that megan has been throwing shots for a while i mean on something for the thotties that megan dropped last year the album that she claimed is a mixtape that's really an album it was full of shots at Nicki minaj okay for example in that song kitty cat megan said and i quote these bitches keep saying they run ish how when the last ho when the last time you hoes worked out and running your mouth don't count messy as a bitch close the mfing app out Okay, so the app she's talking about is probably Twitter because let's keep it a buck. Nikki can make a tweet and the girls go in a frenzy. So the one thing I do admire and respect though about this messy situation is they're both keeping it in the booth about the music. None of that laying back and forth Twitter shit like be a real rapper and put it in the music. So I can respect that, you know, let me know what your thoughts on that are. But I'm like low key excited because the rap beef is like, you know, it's like back to the 90s shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, let me know your thoughts on that below. Now, the next topic I want to get into is Cardi B wanting to be the part of the action today and trying to low-key shade Nicki Minaj, according to fans on Twitter, because why is she mentioning something about pill popping too? So basically, Cardi was called out by MMA fighter Jake Shields, who compared her to Andrew Tate. And Andrew Tate, if you don't know, is an influencer and former professional kickboxer who is mostly known for his misogynistic remarks because he did defend rape. So this is what MMA fighter Jake Shields has to say. People are freaking out about young boys looking up to Andrew Tate, but totally fine with girls looking up to Cardi B and Kardashians. Tate's main message is to stop being lazy, making excuses, and go work hard and get in shape and make money. Cardi's is go do drugs, F friend of men, and go through life as a brain dead moron. <laughs> Talk about the shade, baby. So Cardi, bit, Cardi did respond, and she did say this. I'm married. I don't smoke weed. I don't pop pills. I don't do coke. I'm a mom of two kids, and I do a lot of charity work. But hey, let me put Cardi into it and defend a man who defends misogyny and rape. So let me know what you guys think about that. Now, my thing is, you know, you might not do none of that now, but at one point in time you had to have, because my thing is you claim you don't do none of that, but yet you affiliated with a gang. You getting hit sent out on girls, your husband cheated on you with allegedly wishing AIDS and death on people's mothers. So, I mean, your husband damn sure do all the, the things above. So why matter if you 
smoke pot pills or do weed like i don't you know i don't know now i do think he was completely out of pocket though and could have proven his point without using cardi b because that was completely irrelevant but he already did what he did and said what he said so it is what it is now speaking of cardi b she is back threatening to sue black blog bloggers in particular this time the popular youtuber ebony of black sea blog who i think is pretty cool in my opinion because i do follow her now this low-key all started because cardi decided to drop her own roman remix allegedly to her song hot shit which in my personal opinion is literally hot shit okay i think it's the worst single she has released since press so the blogs did post this however the feedback Cardi was receiving was very negative because she sounded like she was possessed low key to me. Like her voice was so off and abnormal and honestly sounded like it wasn't even a real song in my opinion. So eventually the song was deleted from Cardi's YouTube channel and eventually blogs deleted their post about it. So Cardi says she didn't like the beat on her verse and that she had just found out it had gotten released and how her people are scared to tell her who put it out. And because of that, she won't release the original at all. And she's making her fans wait to, you know, until she releases something else, which baby, I don't think nobody is upset about you releasing this song so she also told her fans that you know if she didn't post it that they shouldn't be posting anything about it before they start spreading it around and that you know she's not going to be dropping anything because her fans are thirsty back calling her fans names again now my thing is the beat sounded a goddamn you know it sounded the same like it sounded the goddamn same as the one with Dirk and Kanye so the only thing that sounded off to me was the voice like her voice sounded like it was possessed so this is what she is claiming. She claimed that she was imitating little Yachty's flow, you know, on who want the smoke, which I don't understand why you're imitating anybody's flow. So she responded to the blog on site. The blog is ran by Ra Ali, so go figure that she responds. So I honestly think Cardi knows who put this out, though. I think she knew it was getting put out, in my opinion, but she just didn't like the feedback because it took a minute before this got deleted from her YouTube channel, but that's just my opinion. Let me add that since Ms. Girl is going around being quick to sue somebody because she is currently threatening to sue Black T Blog. Okay, once again, after she reported on the story about hot shit being negatively received and therefore removed, which I mean was just an observation that we all saw. So Cardi tweeted at this the way, the way I'm going to sue her I'm just collecting the lies she's been saying about me literally have text messages and so cursing people out because it got the wrong beat and I didn't know it was, it was released till I got on Twitter which is crazy to me because it is a screen recording of Cardi having posted it to her own Twitter account now Cardi took it even farther and posted a photo of Ebony's ex with some Latina woman and she would be um and said that she would be mad if you know her ex was doing YouTube videos if dot 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 as if to insinuate she would be mad too if her man left her for a latina woman or another woman or whatever so cardi don't know what happened between ebony and her ex from what i gather this man has assaulted ebony so i think it's highly inappropriate for her to even be posting this man let alone this woman in the photo who he also you know has assaulted come to find out so it's like are you an advocate for victim of domestic violence or not one minute you saying you don't use um don't use your name with a misogynist and that you do charity work and the next minute you attacking someone who is a victim of domestic violence like make it make sense baby and of course she deleted all these tweets including the tweet where she claimed ebony had a child endangerment charge which is not true my thing is why are you posting these people like they are regular regular people they don't know you and you don't know them you are exposing people who aren't famous like girl this is doxing so not too long after this was going on we see nikki take to twitter and tweet this orchestrating bullying campaigns for years full of lies to tear down the queen though lol cowards always dish but they can never take mm. is she speaking all facts no copy or nah okay so, so let's keep it a buck clearly the queen is not here for the bullying of her supporters so you guys let me know your thoughts on that so remember to keep it cute in my comments this is my commentary and my opinion i'm just fooling giving my personal opinion y'all okay let me clarify that for miss girl in the back all right so y'all can follow me on my ig and my twitter at my handle southern t and that is southern t with two a's at the end i will see y'all in my next video fam